In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can run the best gun bunch in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become better Madden players. And so if you are looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you right now to click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And uh, that way what's going to happen is basically you're going to be able to get access to all of the videos that I do on a daily basis that can help you get better both on the offensive side of the ball as well as the defensive side of the ball. And if you have not already uh, gotten my gun bunch offensive guide, I'm going to be breaking down some tips and strategies from that in this video. And if you want to get the entire offense, the exact offense that I use in high stakes Madden games, I would encourage you um, to get that. The link to the ebook is going to be available in the description or the guide is going to be available in the description. And we're going to be talking today about a play that you can go to from the gun bunch that I think really does a good job against a lot of popular concepts and ways people are going to want to uh, basically defend the gun bunch. And so the play we're going to be going over in this video is the play bunch trail, as you can see right here. And one of the things that's actually becoming very, very common for people, um, especially when they are defending the gun bunch, is they love to run this little cover four, um, basically cover four drop style of zone. And then basically what they're going to do is, you know, they're going to maybe play like a Mabel coverage of that zone to the left and then on the right side or to the right. And then on the on the uh, solo receiver side, they might turn that into like a Tampa two style of defense. And so it's a very common style of defense. And so how you set this play up is we're going to smart route the square receiver just like that right there. We're going to take the running back or the triangle receiver and we're going to put him on a little option route, as you can see right there. And then I just simply like to create essentially a levels concept. So we're going to put both slot receivers on hitches, but we're going to smart route the R1 receiver or the inside slot. And then we're going to put the tight end on a little flat route just like this. And what you're going to see is a nice little spacing concept here on the right side. But really this is all kind of a little bit of window dressing because what you're going to see is we're going to get a one play touchdown over the top of the defense for a one play score. And this is really one of the beautiful points of the gun bunch it does a really really good job at really um you know kind of disguising this as a standard little kind of almost idiot beater type of play very basic concept but what happens is because of the way that the hitches and the option routes and things like that work in combination it's going to do a great job at holding a cover four drop style of zone and it's going to leave that wide open over the top for a one play touchdown right over the top of the defense so this is one of the reasons the gun bunch is truly one of the best offenses in the entire game because you have plays that really can give you answers against pretty much anything that the defense is going to do, whether they are in cover four, whether they're in cover three, cover two, cover six. And so the beauty of the way that we run the gun bunch is that a lot of the routes and a lot of the receivers, um, whether it be from the play Jets dig or whether it be from the play flood, it's going to put you in a situation where you know they're going to essentially really not want to guard this. And so the beauty of this is this also, it doesn't just work against cover four. It also will work against cover uh, two. So you'll see right here, I'm gonna switch on over to Tampa two, and I'm just gonna plan a play a little bit basic of a coverage. And so the same exact route combination that we just talked about. We're gonna smart route the square receiver. We're gonna put the tight end or the X receiver on a flat. We're gonna put the running back or the triangle receiver on an option route. We're gonna hitch both of the other two receivers. And then we're just gonna smart route the R1 receiver just like this right here and motion snap the circle receiver to the outside. And what's gonna happen here is this little deep half zone is basically gonna sit and watch as this post gets over the top for a one play touchdown. So the beauty of this is this is a one play touchdown against cover four. It's also a one play touchdown against cover three. Now, the next defense that I wanna talk about is really a defense that we really don't have any problem beating um, from the gun bunch, and that's the cover three. 
but we are going to talk about it and I want to just show you this same route combination. We're going to put the corners on the outside in deep halves. It's a very popular style of defense that we're going to force people into based off of how we are going to be playing uh, our offense. And so kind of the same route combinations as I showed you. But what you're going to watch here is if we can wait on this, we can get this over the top. But unfortunately, um, you know, we just don't quite have you know, everything that we need to be able to turn this into a one play touchdown. Now, are there ways to turn this into a one play touchdown against cover three? The answer to that would be yes. Of course, there are ways that we can get this thing to work a little bit better against cover three. But what I will tell you, and one of the things that I think is super, super important is you want to make sure that you have it so that you can definitely beat the cover four and the cover two. The cover three is a defense that we're going to be able to beat you know, pretty much regardless within this offense because the gun bunch is really set up to beat cover three, right? It's very good against cover three. But the beauty of this is this is something that you can go to that is going to do a really, really good job against cover two and cover um, four. And so those are two popular coverages that if you run gun bunch at all and you're playing somebody that knows what they're doing, they're going to be going to that coverage. Now, the other thing that I really like about this play is if they were running me in coverage, because we're running a smart routed post route on that side, um, this is, again, it's a very simple little concept, but you'll see right here, because we're running this little concept here, the square receiver is gonna get instant separation to the inside against man coverage, especially if you have a good route runner there, that's another reason to use this play. And again, like I've talked about, you know, countless times on the channel, if they're running cover three or cover four, there's other plays in the gun bunch that could be the end, or I apologize. If they're running cover three, there are other plays that we can go to that are going to have the answer to that. The beauty is this play right here, this bunch trail play, looks very, very similar to the flood concept. It looks very similar to really all of the other concepts um, you know, from the gun bunch. And so that's really the beauty of this is you don't have to, you know, again, do anything too crazy. You're going to beat cover four right over the top every single time because of that just simple little isolation. Doesn't have to do any motion, really. We don't have to do anything too fancy. But what the beauty of this is, is a lot of people that I've faced, whenever they're defending gun bunch, you're going to see this defense. I almost guarantee it that you're going to see this defense. This cover four style of defense on one side and the cover two on the other side, especially if they know what they're doing, especially if they are, you know, trying to kind of adapt as the game changes. This is like a little bitty thing that they can do that's going to get them, you know, a pretty solid result. And so I would encourage you to utilize this play against things like a cover four style uh, of defense. And the reason, the biggest reason I can give to you as to why to do that is because it really does have some really nice little answers for um, kind of that constraint theory type of situation. That situation that arises where they start to run a lot of cover four, or they start to run a lot of cover two, or they start to run a lot of whatever, right? Because you can go to something like this, you are going to have a very good time against the cover four defense. And so, like I said, if you want to get the entire gun bunch offense, you can get that in the description of this video. You can actually get the entire Jets version of this of this offensive scheme um, with the bunch, the bunch tight end, and the trips tight end offset all for $15. Again, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description. It's the best offense in the game right now. And the guide will walk you through step by step, not only how to uh, set up the plays and how to run the plays, but we also spend time analyzing and teaching you how to actually use these plays, when to use them in actual gameplay analysis. And so I would encourage you, if you're looking to get better on the offensive side of the ball, this offense will certainly help you do just that. And again, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description. You can get that below for just $15.